Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to my let's play of Motorsport Manager PC Career Mode with Velen Racing. We are now in season 11. We have done one race and we've had a good result. We finished third and sixth. Surikov got the podium and Cristiano finished sixth inside the sponsor objective. So it was a good start to the season. Now, next up is Yokohama. So let's get started on any preps, prep work. Uh, Kitty Graph, car condition, interview, pit crew, the oyster. I wouldn't drive with Hashimoto. Okay, fine. Interview, let's see. Podium for team, Nikolai Race Supremely. How do you feel? It feels good, but we need to build on the success. Yeah, that's about the right thing to say. Pit crew, any mistakes? 1.572. Okay, that seems fine. Anybody particularly tired? Nope anybody decent available not really okay so we'll just leave it for now balkazar wins to the watch gp now i've been having a bit of a chat with sonia rickson on my comment section and he recommended we swap the two um, mechanics because toby hard is a good mechanic and he has this extra feature which is a super overtake mode this will unlock and that can have a good impact especially in qualifying but having said that surikov is not going to go any further than this with the relationship although with cristiano it seems bad as well for some reason annoying other half see the annoying other half is involved i think they need to get divorced or something see it doesn't tell you when they give you that message that this will affect this much so anyway we'll just swap and see how it goes so we swap the two drives we reset again we don't really use the perks but hopefully and see he's lighter on the soft tire so that this could help a bit i guess a super overtake mode would be a great unlock if possible but as you can see it's already got minus 10 so i don't think this will unlock yeah cristiano will need to get a divorce as well anyway so we've just swapped that now what are we building we are building a suspension yes so it will take about three days that should improve our suspension so let them finish repair on the cars because we need uh, to improve a few parts let's see um front wing is 75 percent reliable so you won't need the front wing for the japanese country so we can remove the front wing we need brakes suspension and engine so engine is 72 so we could do a little bit of improvement on the engine brakes definitely need more reliability and so does the suspension so only 40 percent reliable we have nine days we need to get this to about 75 80 percent and you're also building a second one so see the engines are 72 percent so that is i think enough to get away with it but the brakes and suspension so everybody on reliability duty please we need this sorted anything else that needs him oh the rear wings also since we are not building a set of rear wings right now let's see what this does to the okay small oh we need to replace Ravelli and Co. they were giving us four hundred thousand oh no 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 this isn't good you're only getting upfront money we i, I prefer getting like fixed income per race so Balmina is the best right now, so we'll have to go with these guys. 12 length, 12 races. Uh, I suppose we can use this money for building stuff. So when is the next sponsor due? So Deutsche Air, okay. So let's go back here. Car repair is finished. Okay, so new suspension is ready. Now what I was thinking was our... See, our uh, engine isn't great, but we have a good uh, car, fuel efficient car. So if we push on the engines, we can uh, we can get a, a bit of performance. However, since we already have an engine in place and we can use the fuel, why do we waste money on building? What? Okay, let's, let's, let's do the opposite of what we did last season. We'll max out the other parts. So we've just built a suspension so as you can see our suspension is sixth this will probably improve a bit if we can get the performance up why don't we start working on 
rear wings and bring these up like get all of these up to like second or third best and then focus on the gearbox and the engine the gearbox and the engine also take longer to build as well so yeah just build this one 1675 1699 so i'm thinking it's better than our current one and this doesn't take too long either so let's see what the current uh, gearbox no rear wing is yeah so it's already better 1699 so that's significantly better okay so we can do that and uh, so these are like 62 and 64 percent so they're already useful for the race front wings okay it's good engines are good brakes need about 75 to 80 and suspension needs about 75 so i'm a bit worried about the suspensions should be remove the rear wings because 62 and 64 because they are not under stress on this race let's not divide up the time uh, they're using for this i just need them to get the brakes and the suspension done in eight days okay so they've built this and how about the reliability now 51 55 72 74 so brakes are almost there suspension needs a bit more work and we have just finished building okay what is he saying about the lead okay uh, one of the best yep i know it's total pressure worker so let's keep hold of him yep i know he's a good man um fit part so what did we just build oh we built a rear wing and uh, but we won't be able to use it for this race. is the rear wing important for the next race no so we can definitely get some improvement but let's make another one so 1699 was the maximum for the previous one so 1699 now anything we add should get it better um uh, cornering high speed corners 40 will that help probably only in the particular race five days that's a long time uh, high speed corners 20 reliability minus 10 two days 20 and plus five so if we go with this one 17 okay so slightly better okay so the current one we just built should we get that try to get that for the race i think we can suspension where is the suspension still 50 okay still five days why are they not improving it at a quicker rate why well, the brakes are at 72 yeah they're taking a bit longer than i would like Okay, let's have a look. Free race preview bytes. Okay. Let's go to Rirasini. Okay, let's see what is upcoming race. Okay, Yokohama. 3.14 miles, 32 lap race. Likely to some rain. Sunday, 35% chance. Bricks. Okay, we need good bricks. We have decent bricks. Let's look at the car and the repair situation. So, rear wing is at 53%. So I think it's probably better not to take this one for this race. And I thought we were making another one. It's not ready yet. Okay. This is up to 78 and 79. So these are ready. And the suspension is not ready, even though they have worked on it for 10 days. But the other ones are not that great either. Oh, so this is bad. This is bad. okay anyway what can you do we'll have to use these so engine front wing gearbox so for the next race let's focus on the things we need for the next race so engine front wing gearbox okay front wing is it for china yep engine front wing gearbox gearbox is not crucial but we'll try and max out the other stuff as well Okay, for rear wing, we don't have scope for improvement. I mean, the space for improvement. Brakes. Brakes are not too far away from being maxed out. I mean, the engine, sorry. And the brakes are also not that far away. So let them do that and then we'll put the other stuff. So let's get ready to go to Japan. We've got six or above. I think six or above is okay. Fuel one is low, so I think we can use the fuel a bit more here. 
tireware is medium maybe we could use the so we have super soft soft and medium i think we'll have to do medium and soft or maybe if we are lucky two on the soft because this is a 32 lap as i'm not sure we can get 16 a piece on the soft tires i think we'll have to do more on the but if we can hang on if we do this cristiano is definitely not going to be able to do two stints on the soft so we go up maybe maybe and there's also a chance of rain so 16 a piece would mean we'll need one tire for practice and then two for the race and if it not if not we go with one we work on the medium what if we need two mediums yeah let's go with three apiece i think this is a safer strategy do we need to swap any parts so Rikov has the better thing better here better here is this reliable enough no i'm not going to risk it for this one and this one yeah we'll have to risk it because they are slightly better at least and reliability wise they are about the same slightly better as well so if we go with those they we may we may need to stop for repairs because the suspension is crucial so i think we'll have to factor that in this could hurt us badly i thought 10 days was enough to get the reliability up i think if they were only working on the suspension maybe they could have managed to get that reliability up but yeah with work on the other parts they could not even though i had put all 40 working on the reliability you still couldn't get it done come on it's taking too long okay so we are in yokohama We have done well here we have won this race twice in the rain so i'm quite hopeful but not for hopeful for winning but 61 so this is going to hurt us badly so we'll go down a bit on the gearbox and uh, wing, we'll leave it at that 78 yeah they'll leave it here 70 here we'll go a bit lower on the front wing so 65 60 65 60 79 72 64 engines are i think useful here See, if we go a bit more aggressive on the waste stripping, we'll get definitely get a lot of performance. But we don't want to risk the reliability. I think this is safe enough. We can maybe go a bit more on the brakes. Just a bit more. We don't want to push our luck too much, but we also want to get as much performance as possible. So, Cristiano has got 20 feedbacks. And even you guys got 18. So, now let's look at the tire situation. Uh, yeah, sorry, tire situation. So, hang on. So, we'll, we have a setup. So, medium is 18 to 20, 14 to 16. Um, 10 to 12. This is for Kajanoja, of course. So, Surikov would be similar. 14 to 16 no it's not possible if it doesn't rain we'll be screwed we probably 12 is reasonable to expect from the soft tire so 12 and 12 is 24 no either we stop twice and go on the super soft or we go medium and then soft medium and super soft no medium and soft it is so we'll go on the medium cristiano is probably not going to be as smooth either so okay he's okay on the medium not so okay it's only slightly worse off on the soft so his smoothness does okay, and he's also so he's not as smooth on the softer compounds basically yeah so it is it is medium and soft that should be the strategy okay so cars have been set up no actually they haven't been set up okay anyway i'll see you after practice i'll set up the cars and then we'll do practice and i'll come back after practice Welcome back. Uh, practice done. Uh, we had a good session overall. Uh, 
Cristiano got one excellent and two greats, and Bjorn got two excellent and a great. And it did not rain, so we got level threes on the medium tire and the super softs. I'll just save that real quick. Yeah, I'm thinking even with uh, Surikov, we'll have to go medium and soft, maybe even two mediums. Definitely two mediums on Cristiano, but Surikov, we can maybe use the soft. Of course, if it rains, then it's a different strategy altogether. But something tells me we are not going to do well here if it doesn't rain. Like Doha first race, we got lucky a bit. But here, especially with the safety car, we really got lucky with that. But here I'm not sure. This could be a struggle, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, two excellence and a great, and two greats and an excellent. So yeah, let's go to quali. Yeah, let's let's do two stints. We won't be stingy with our tires here. I did not see if it's going to rain. No, I don't think so. Okay, I think Surikov's lap is already ruined. Cristiano, you can go out as well. Hopefully you can find some clear track. Yes, yeah, Surikov is definitely behind someone. Oh man, this is bad. Surikov, hold up a bit. See if that helps. Maybe, might have, might have. He's ahead of people here. Cristiano, on the other hand, looks like he has a completely clear track. Ooh, nice. Nobody coming out, nobody in the way. Okay, Surikov, what times are you looking to do? Eight. Okay, about nine tenths slower than Labe, so it's not bad. A second off the ground. Okay, that might be bad. Cristiano, what did you do? Okay, censored by the GMA, so four tenths slower than Surikov. Yeah, that is the main problem. The gap in between the teammates is what hurts us. 9 and 11. Not great, guys. Not great. I mean, 9 for Surikov is sort of where we expect. I would like to see Cristiano get inside the top 10. Everybody's heading out. And 107. So I don't think we need a lot of time. Okay, this looks like a clear track. Come on, buddy. Get out. And before people come in, Cristiano. Out, out, out. It's once again Cristiano who seems to have been lucky with the gap. And Surikov. Ooh, he's got people once again in front of him. But Surikov, you can maybe stay back a bit. And go. I don't know if it helps, but it, I try to do that. Okay, good job, good job. Definitely looks quicker here. Maybe that car is on an in lap. Yeah, probably. Ooh, a lot of people here. Ooh, nicely done, nicely done, Surikov. That's impressive. Cristiano, 11th. But Surikov, in despite three or four cars around him, he pulled out a great lap in the top six very nice very nice Surikov and we hit our sponsor objectives nice nice Surikov very nice yeah he does tend to perform well occasionally like this like really impressively in the dry now we are in a decent position I hope you don't mess this up Okay, so it looks dry. They said 35% chance of rain. But like I've said before, when they don't show the sign here, symbol. See, this is quite hot. So I think medium tires might be the better way because the softer tires will just heat up too quickly. Yeah, we'll go with mediums. I think even with Surikov, we might have to do two stints on the medium because we can push a bit more with our fuel. Yeah, just go on the mediums and we'll see about the soft tires, depending on how many laps we can get. But also we have to remember our suspension isn't great. We might need to stop for repairs on those. So we could end up with a long pit stop. Yeah, I think we'll have, we'll do two stints on the medium 
stop and repair the suspension and just basically do that yeah we will push on the engine as well when the race starts okay let's go Surikov if you can improve on that lap it would be amazing no he's just let two people three four five he's just letting everybody get past him come on buddy push on the fuel should have pushed at the start and push on the tires as well we are doing two stints on the tires then if you guys are going to drive like this we'll end up with two stints on the medium tires come on get get this guy Put it. Uh, he wasted his good qualifying in about two corners come on get back track is warm don't see rain who is in 13 Sylvander come on Rudyard. what is wrong with these guys of course these guys are on faster tires that's understandable other people around them but stay close these cars are slower you are a drop driver in a good car with some extra fuel okay come on get past this car yes Vidal, he's gone past Vidal. See, now everybody in front of him is on faster tires, so that isn't helping. But Cristiano has promptly gone to the back, like usual. Okay, push on the fuel, push on the fuel, back off on the tires. See, tires, even our medium tires are heating up. So we have to get the tires out of the red zone. And we'll have to push more on the fuel. But we can push more on the fuel, that's, that's the good thing. Cristiano is still 15th. <sighs> we'll need to get 16 out of these tires and then get another 16 on the second set. Any more than 16 and we can consider the soft tires. But as you can see, keeping the tires uh, at the optimum temperature is not as easy. I don't see an improvement in pace. In fact, this car behind Vidal is getting close why is Surukov struggling all of a sudden so he's stuck behind a Windsor I can't pit you now we don't have a strategy for that we'll have to do it on track keep pushing on the fuel keep pushing on the fuel tires are still too hot Let's save up some fuel and then push when we have a lot. See, we are struggling around these corners. That car does get very close. So, Rigoff is at least the first person on the medium tires. Labe and Tanakuchi, those people are completely destroyed on the tires. How are they going? They'll be losing time here. I wish he had a better start. Yeah, but we should be comfortably able to get um, 16 laps. Okay, push on the fuel. Push on the fuel, Cristiano. Don't give me nonsense. Come on, Chris Surikov. Back. Get this guy off your back. Vidal, what car is he and why are they so fast? Boa Esperanzas, are, are they so fast this year? Okay, where is Surikov? Okay, Tanakuchi on the softer tires is just going to pass us in no time. My Surikov is making it hard. Not very hard though. And that 7th place De Graaf is also coming in very quickly and he's already passed us. Seriously, these people are just insanely fast. Now, try and hold off Vidal. This is a pain. Vidal is a real pain here. Vidal is going to do well here. The Boa Esperanza teams have definitely improved this year. Last year the Rezato Corsas were a pain. This time I think they are even better than us. We have to stay ahead of uh, this guy. I think we are, our fuel strategy could help us. Otherwise we would have been struggling. So Tyler should be pitting anytime soon. Let's 
Cristiano is up to seven. Surikov is up to three. But people in front. Okay, so they, those guys will be pitting again. I mean, once more, two stops, and we'll be pitting once. So they are a lap ahead. I mean, a stop ahead. But we won't be stopping as many times as them. So I will see. This still looks promising for us. We are up to lap 16. Ooh, and we still have a scope for another two, three laps with Surikov at least. Even Cristiano is doing fine. But Cristiano is probably going to get one more lap out of this. Surikov is still going fast here. Cristiano's pace is also good. Okay, he's complaining about the tires. So I think we should look into pitting him now. Okay, we'll pit him now. So there's another 15 after this. So yeah, he's going to struggle. Surikov will try and get one more lap out. So how's the suspension looking? 38%. So it's definitely going to get rough. So is the rear wing actually. How long will it take? Oof, another uh, six seconds. Okay, we'll 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 be safe. Hopefully, he can get inside the points. Okay, drive normally till the pits, and then we'll pause. Surikov will have to try and see if he can get one or two more laps to save some time. Drive normally, save a bit of fuel. People, we don't want bad pit stops. Okay, thank you. Good pit stop, people. Push on the tire, I mean the fuel. So that was a good stop. Okay, he's complaining about tire wear, but he's on lap 18. So he's done... So he needs another 14. Can he do 14? He can. Can. What is his current uh, pace? He's still green. Okay, let, let's let him do one more lap. He's still green, so we... Now we'll be more comfortable with 13 to go. His suspension also needs work. Tires soft. Did he go soft on Cristiano? I forgot already. No, he's medium. <coughs> okay, sorry, cough. Drive normally. See, Surikov is holding off Valkazar. Now his pace is dropping a little, but we are not worried about these tires. Okay, save fuel and into the pits. People, we need another good stop here. Thank you. A push on the fuel. Okay. We are down to 11. Now we need people at the front to pit and we need to get inside the sponsor objectives. I don't think we'll do much better than 7th or 8th here. But some people are not going to pit. I can see those people. Okay, back off on the fuel. We can save a bit of fuel for now. Cristiano is only 15th. I don't think he'll finish inside the points. And his tire is also cooking a bit. Come on, Surikov, you have the better tire. Push. And they're not hot yet. Yeah, Surikov coming out in 11th is a bit worrying for me right now. Because he may need to do something on track if he has to get there. Okay, maybe ease up a bit on the tires, push on the fuel. See, Dia Villa will pit Nalto, Labe, Giuliani, Hashimoto. They'll all pit, but those guys are way, way in front of us. So even when they pit, they'll come out in front. Yeah, that repairing has cost us a bit. That's five, six seconds for repairing. Okay, Surikov, you need to get close to these two. He is trying. Come on. You need to get past Tyler on track because i think try okay no tyler has pitted i think no tyler hasn't pitted so labe is behind and he's charging on a much faster set of tires and he needs to get past tyler come on surikov get past tyler yeah there's not much hope here for finishing inside the objectives but there is a bit you can see he's just let him go past without a fight at all See, look, look at that. Tyler is giving more of a fight. Come on, get past Tyler. Get past Tyler. Inside, inside. 
outside inside just just get past her now we need one more person from the front to stop okay Christian is complaining about brakes oh his brakes are bad no sorry cop is fine but I think even Cristiano should be able to hold on see Labe and Borguignon can you get close to Borguignon man okay drive normally see if you can get close to Borguignon we need that sponsor target and don't let Tyler get close okay he is close to Borguignon come on buddy come on Cristiano drive normally as well can you even get inside the points Cristiano no yeah it does not work out for Cristiano somehow so we're back to the same problem of only Surikov scoring points come on get past this Rizzardo Corsa come on Surikov use some fuel more fuel that is come on come on come on see if you can get there Diavilla has retired Cristiano is having brake problems come on Surikov Come on! We won't be able to do it. No, I don't think so. One more lap after this. Okay, blue flag, blue flag. Maybe that could help you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, he did. He did get past. Come on. Surikov. Brilliant move, Surikov. Now drive normally. Use... No, don't use fuel. Just see if you can hold off without using fuel. Okay, actually just use more on the tires they tend to get hot but we can spare some and labe labe is a long way ahead so it wouldn't matter but surikov can finish this race yes good job surikov sponsor targets hit that that is important and cristiano finished 12th 12th isn't too bad i guess but i would have preferred if he had finished i think if he hadn't stopped for those repairs this Surikov might even have finished fifth. We just wish the car was a bit smoother and and a bit more reliable. We made a mistake with the suspension. Yeah, we should have started working on reliability from the previous race. That way, we would have been able to get some something done. But I think it's still a good result. We are inside the sponsor objective. We finished sixth with Surikov, so at least some points. But We'll be down on the chairman's happiness once again. Eight points, at least some points. Okay, we're still third. Okay, somehow managed to hold on to third. Rezato Corsa. So at least he went past the two Rezato Corsas. Yeah, overall, it ended well. I was expecting around seventh or eighth for Surikov. And I think we struggled a bit because of that six seconds we took in the pit lane. Extra six seconds, that is. Well, we made half a million. It seems a bit less. Because we hit the sponsor target in both sessions. No, we were losing money because of the... Ah, okay, okay, okay. We are losing money because our third sponsor is paying money up front. So we are not getting per race payments. So that half a million is actually pretty good. <sighs> okay, relief. Now look at this. Our pit crew is second best. Sponsors are third best. Our staff is second best. Headquarters are fourth. Drivers are fourth. Car is still sixth. Yeah, whatever I do, it doesn't. Okay. Anyway, next race is in Beijing. It's going to rain. Good engines, good front wing, good gearbox. So we have a good front wing. Engine and gearbox, not so good. But the rain could help us with that. Yeah, so there's... There is some optimism there hope at least for the next race so anyway a decent result i can't complain and hopefully we can do something more in china in the in the rain surikov has won this rain to uh, this race twice in the rain so hopefully he can maybe do something at least in the podium that would be a good result so anyway thank you for watching see you in the next one